ever pondered why Indigenous Australians, the original custodians of this land, hold such a minuscule representation in Parliament? This question, it seems, has been a burning issue for many years, prompting a call for change. The wheels of this change were set in motion with the 2017 Uluru Statement from the Heart, a historic document that called for the establishment of an Indigenous voice to Parliament. The journey to this point, however, has been nothing short of tumultuous. Indigenous Australians have long been trapped in a cycle of disadvantage, with disparities in life expectancy, education, and incarceration rates starkly highlighting the systemic issues at play. But despite these challenges, the call for an Indigenous voice has remained steadfast, fueled by the desire for self-governance and the ability to shape their own destiny. Prominent campaigner Noel Pearson has been a vocal advocate for the Indigenous voice, arguing that it would empower Indigenous Australians to break free from the cycle of victimhood and oppression. Pearson's belief is that this voice would not only hold Indigenous Australians accountable for their own progress, but also allow them to take charge of their own communities, families, and future. Pearson's vision, however, has not been without its detractors. Some, like Nyungai Warren Mundine, argue that the voice perpetuates a narrative of victimhood, painting Indigenous Australians as incapable of making their own decisions. Yet, Pearson counters this by insisting that the voice would bring about a modest yet profound change, enabling Indigenous Australians to take responsibility for combating disadvantage in their communities. The fate of the Indigenous voice will be decided on the 14th of October, a day that will undoubtedly be marked by a mixture of hope and fear. Hope for the potential change the voice could bring, and fear for the possibility of rejection. Pearson acknowledges this, stating, no one wants their invitation of friendship and love to be unrequited. Despite the uncertainties, Pearson remains resolute, framing the referendum as a chance for Australia to draw a line under its colonial past. He argues that by voting yes, Australians can make the colonial past their history rather than their legacy. Voting no, on the other hand, he warns, would leave Australia suspended in a neverland, a place where two peoples love the same homeland, but have not yet learned to love each other. The path to the referendum has been a long and challenging one, and the journey is far from over. The fate of the Indigenous voice now rests in the hands of the Australian people. The importance of this decision cannot be understated. It is a decision that will shape not only the future of Indigenous Australians, but the very fabric of Australian society. So, take the time to educate yourself about the referendum. Understand the issues at stake. And most importantly, participate. Because your voice matters and it can make a difference.